That's a lot of birds. Hey guys, good morning. Uh, this is Robert back again on trail uh, with David. And today we're here at the uh, uh, Angelus, Oak, Angelus uh, Oaks. And we're gonna visit a trail that was closed for a while. This is the uh, San Bernardino uh, Peak Trail. Um, we're not planning to summit. Uh, we're just doing a recon hike, look around, see how far we can go. Um, it's April 3, uh, 2022. I did this hike uh, five years ago and it was pretty back then. So we're gonna check out the uh, devastation that was uh, uh, brought about that fire, the Eldorado fire, if you guys remember, in September 5 of uh, two years ago, 2020, there was a fire that was uh, erupted from the uh, uh, accident that happened. You know, this family is doing a baby gender reveal and they use a, a pyrotechnic device and burn the uh, dry, uh, dried grass on the ground. And it went from there, goes up from the south side and come up all the way to Limber Pine and uh, around the area, surrounding areas. I think it went down, I don't know, it went down all the way here, but we see we see some charred um, you know, trees, branches down here. Luckily we, we saw a deer coming in uh, before we park and we see a lot of birds, so that's a good sign. Still wildlife around. So we're gonna go as far as uh, we could. You know, we're, we're not planning to summit the the peak today. It's gotta be a bonus if we can, but right. it's fine. You know, last week we were in San Gorgonio, and today we're here. Uh, oh yeah, I saw this. Seventeen. For Colonel Henry Washington. The Washington Monument up in the Limburg Pine is named after him. All right, we're having a break. We're uh, two and a half miles in, and you can see the uh, the damage by the uh, Eldorado fire. It's really, really, you know, becoming prominent and very, you know, look at that. So the trail goes up here. Yeah, you can still use some of this wood.
All right. So now we're looking at the uh, San Bernardino uh, Peak. Still covered with a good amount of snow. And you can see the tree, but it looks burnt all the way from this level up there. You can even see it from here, right? Yeah, I think and so. And to your right, you know, you see the uh, the damage where it started right there at the bottom. I wonder if we can push this tree over. I call it the chimney tree. You'll see the old uh, post where the, the sign used to be. Which uh, way are we gonna go? We're gonna go straight. Uh, we'll we'll I don't find see it. A trail. Yeah, but, uh, but right that, now you're saying that goes to John Meadows. Yeah, that goes to John Meadows. Okay. To that right is going to a uh, half mile going to uh, um, Columbine Spring Camp, I guess. Okay. And we so the tree. If you guys remember the tree up here. I will uh, I will post the uh, for, uh, for the old video that I have if I have that clip or photo when this is uh, and this was still alive these trees right here so burned to the ground you can see the remnants of some of the old cans and jar and bolts probably some yeah uh, trash and the uh, wheelbarrow still there. This is the wheelbarrow. Remember this, guys? So it's still here. You survived the wheelbarrow. You can get hot enough to melt the oh, yeah. steel. Yeah, this is the junction where you find this uh, wheelbarrow. I remember I had a picture of this. Yeah, the sign definitely got... Yeah, we were hiking and we saw them. Uh, what's your name, guys? Uh, ben. Ben, <laughs> Stephanie. Yeah, and then uh, they uh, they didn't bring a, a micro spike or something, you know. Next so, time, yeah. we come back. <laughs> Next yeah. time, yeah, you know, you know. Yeah, we'll no, be back. That's the yeah. way you learn. Yeah. 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 This this mountain is not going anywhere, so. Definitely. Yeah. All right, yes. guys. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah. Have a Thanks. good day. All right, micro spikes on. Oh yeah. Because we're going to a steep slope around here. You can see the ice. Uh, ben and the uh, his group uh, turn around from here. They cross this, I think they turn around. So yeah, my shoe spikes on. Uh, somehow, you know, the tail will be gone, covered under the snow. So you're gonna lose it, it will disappear, like right here. So with the use of the uh, micro spike, it will help anyone, you know, to just move forward safely. Deeper and deeper. So you're getting closer to Limber Pine on my left. The, the track is right there, I mean the trail. It goes a little bit to the right and it goes all the way up there. At the end of this ridge is the uh, Limber Pine. But uh, what we're doing right now is we're just uh, hitting the slope straight up. 
with micro spikes and uh, trekking pole. And this is a very good snow right now. Yeah, and there goes good. David. This will be fun coming down. So we're, we are at uh, 9381 elevation. We found this uh, spot. We had uh, snacks and rested a little bit. We, we went up straight from that slope. <laughs> yeah, pretty steep. Yeah. We're basically at the uh, Limber Pine bench area to uh, my left right there. So now we're higher than that camp. And we just continue, continue moving up. It's uh, not even 2 o'clock, so we still have time. Let's see what we can do from here. So we climb up from that side and then cross this ridge right here and then to the other side you will see that's a Yukaipa Ridge right there and that's the uh, Bibian Creek uh, at the bottom it's part of the uh, Bibian Creek Trail Forest Falls. oh uh, Mamiar Mamiar Trail down there I see, I remember that uh, road that crosses the, uh, the creek. So we're above 10,100. 175. Yeah. 10,175. We're just shooting up the... Limber Pine. Towards the Limber Pine that we saw. This is an old tree. Look at this. If not, uh, you know, if you want to do this, and you can find this limber pine right here. You move to your left, you're gonna hit the summit. Hell yeah! Woo! <laughs> this is it! Ah! So yeah, guys, we made it to uh, San Bernardino Peak. Yep. I want to say 10,649. And according to paper map, it says 10,649. All right. So we jump one feet, one foot. <laughs> <laughs> All <right>. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, right. um, this trail reopened three days ago, and we're among those few people were able to come up here today I we might be the only ones I think we're the only two that today. come up today Sunday April 3 but we found some track all the way to the summit probably from yesterday and then we saw another four hikers today one overnighters from yesterday he didn't mm -hmm. summit the other three turned around below 8,000 8, so we're the only two who made it to the top Yep. But uh, I want to remind you of what we said at the beginning. We were just planning a uh, yeah, reconnaissance cool. hike, you know, towards the Limber Pine. But Limber, Limber Pine is almost buried in snow. Pretty much the, the whole trail from um, from the start where you see the uh, the ice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's uh, you can see some of it, and then it will be you know under the snow again. So you have to have a, a navigational skill or a GPS tracking device that you can use to follow, you know, the trail. And we did a, lo a lot of, uh, you know, straight up. Yep. The shoot or we uh, you know, the bypass the switchbacks. Just went straight up, but yeah, it was a good thing we had the. Yeah, we have uh, the GPS. GPS. Yeah, we still have the signal. Oh. We have a paper map that we can use. Hopefully, uh, you can see Gorgonio from there, from behind us. We were there last week. We uh, 
V-Day Redemption hike if you want to check the video if I will be able to <laughs> finish the, the video be before this hike so here we got some sun coming oh in. nice yeah and it's um it's totally different from the last time I remember this hike more <laughs> snow or less snow more just snow just uh, other than that is because of the damage that was created by the mm -hmm. fire it's too much Colorado. but above here although things are okay though. yeah we're we should be above tree line but you see the, the trees around here they survive you know this this uh these trees survive the uh, the fire somehow All right, guys, we're coming down, All right, six, six, and six, it's seven. almost five o'clock. We're coming down in the dark somewhere there. Uh, Creek. It's uh, around 40, 42 degrees right now, so <laughs> temperature's dropping fast. Getting colder. And co uh, yeah, getting colder. So yep. Yeah. See you in a bit. Cool. All right, we're going. Whoa, whoa, I'm losing control. Gotta go down this way. You're fine. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> That was pretty nice, huh? <laughs> pretty neat. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Oh, that's deep. There. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> I love it. All right, we're officially getting out of the wilderness. 7,000, another 1,000 feet. <laughs> I'm freaking tired already. There you go, guys. So we're going to wilderness on this side. All right. All right, we made it. We made it. We made it down here. 15, 15 hours. hours. Almost 15 hours. Gee, <laughs> but the original plan was just to get, to go to a limber pine uh, bench. Yeah. Luckily, we made it to the oh. top. Yeah, it was we had a beautiful second summer. pole. And ice axe, I uh, know. <laughs> Just trekking poles and uh, micro spikes, actually. The uh, the summit is buried with thick snow, so the snow will still be here for a while. Uh, probably will take another couple of months before it will be gone. And then for those who wanted to try this trail, uh, make sure you have enough time to do it. You know, 
bring your gear, micro spike, and don't use um, what do you call that? Nike. <laughs> uh, use a better gear. We saw another uh, two guys uh, went up. Uh, two British uh, hikers they went up, uh, coming up from John Meadows. I don't know if that is open already, but anyway. Uh, thanks for watching and thanks for all the uh, support uh, to the channel. Until then guys, Bye. until we hit the next trip, yeah, next, next hike, see you when we see you. Ciao! Bye. <laughs>